you want to be able to see your windows on your Synology and other way around your Synology NAS on your windows then watch this video I'm gonna guide you through how to achieve this so this is gonna be the end result on your computer on your PC on your windows in your computer you're gonna be able to see your Synology go into it and do things and the same will be um, possible on uh, your Synology when you log into your DSM you can have your Windows folder and you'll see whatever files you put in there. Why is this cool? It's because you can share any folder on your Windows and you can access your folder of the Windows wherever you are on the, over the internet and everything is happening through the Synology. So and you know Synology is having this quick connect option so you can connect from your phone, you can connect from your browser, your desktop, however you choose or, or, or VPN or whatever. And you're going to be able to see your Windows uh, folder linked to it. So whatever files you put in there, it's going to go to your Windows, and uh, whatever you put in this folder, folder in, this, whatever files you put on the Windows is going to go to the NAS. You may achieve something similar using a uh, Synology drive. So it's like a Dropbox thing on your Windows. So whatever you put in this folder gets synchronized to a NAS. But maybe for some reason you want to just simply share a folder, whatever folder. So let's I'll put things in uh, slides. So we don't need to waste our time with um, troubleshooting and stuff like that. So this is how it goes. So first of all, what you will need to know is your IP address of your window. So if you got DHCP server, so basically if you got the default option that um, your router is giving random IP address to your windows, then um, you may want to set up a manual IP. If you want to do that, you go to uh, uh, on this um, connection thing, right click uh, open network internet settings. Then if you want to figure out what IP you got already, what subnet mask, what uh, all these things, uh, then you go to uh, on, on your connection, right click, start, uh, click uh, status. Then you'll be able to see your IPv4 uh, IP address, your subnet mask and your um, gateway. So these are the things you will need to paste in into the um, uh, configuration that they are. On forms, so if you wanted to put these things and make these things manual, so you would then go to uh, your connection um, properties and then go into network IPv4, click on that and click properties, and then you're going to go and in, get into this uh, window where you can put your IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. You don't need to do this; you can just keep with the automated uh, IP version if you if you don't want, if you want to. So skip that step. Let's go to the configuration how to set these things up. So on the Windows, you go to, for example, C drive, you create a new folder. I created a folder called PC. Uh, then you can do right click properties and give access to everyone. Add, click add, click share, and you're going to have this uh, folder shared now. So everyone on your network will be able to see this folder and put things in there. So so what once this folder is shared now what we want to do is link it to your synology so then we head to the synology dsm where you log into a system go to file station then uh, you can create a new folder if you want to uh, have a specific folder for this windows uh, a linked folder so you can create either create shared folder or uh, any subfolder in an existing shared folder so have a folder i created something called uh, windows in the, uh, underneath the test then when you do go tools, mount remote folder and CIF shared folder, click that. Then you will need to backslash backslash the IP address of your computer. So if you set manual IP, you go for that. If it's automated, uh, whatever you saw in status, uh, Windows paste that um, IP there and slash folder name you just shared on your Windows. So this is my situation. Then you type in account name and password of your windows when you log into your windows machine and, and to access these folders this is the username and password and then you choose mount to where this windows folder will be uh, visible so i created this windows folder on synology so i choose test windows pc this is and and also for, remember that if you take mount automatically on startup, startup, you won't need to redo this thing. It's going to be automated. It's automatically permanently linked with your Windows, not your Windows. And um, that's it. You will then be able to see a new folder called PC 
inside the Windows folder which you created earlier. So whatever you do in this folder is going to be uh, appearing also in your Windows. So let's have a look how it, how it works. So if we put something into this, um, let's go to the C drive, PC, let's create a new file or something. Yeah, let's say, let's call it um, test file, and even add something test. Save that. Now you should be able to see this also on your Synology. So if we go back to Windows PC, test folder. Oh, here we go, test file. Open that up, uh, open Visa. That contents are exactly the same. So what's happening here, this is like a portal, like a Windows, Windows through your Synology to your uh, Windows computer. So also it works the other way around. If we, um, if we create something like a new folder, action, create, a uh, new folder, let's say test2, okay, save that, so that we go back to your Windows, and as you see, it's test2 folder created there as well, because it's, um, as I said, there's a link uh, to your Windows, and the same things, uh, exactly, it's going to work like from win whatever you do in Windows, it's uh, automatically, instantly, you're doing that through your Synology, whatever, that's just a window. So the other way around, how you would want to connect things is, um, connecting Synology to your Windows. So in that case, let's go back again to the slides, uh, linking Windows and Synology, the other way around. So again, if you want um, static IP address, or if you want uh, um, uh, set by DHCP server, so automated IP address, it's up to you. You can go to uh, control panel, uh, go to network, in network interface, uh, IPv4, use manual configuration, put the manual IP address in there if you want to have things automated. Then um, go to Windows. If you got, um, if you have downloaded Synology Assistant, that simplifies things, but it's not that difficult to do it manual as well. So if you do it manually linking your Synology to your Windows, then you would go to My Computer, click on My PC, then you will see a new icon appearing on the top called map network drive then you choose map network drive uh, choose what drive letter you want for this drive backslash backslash ip address address of your nas in this situation and then the shared folder you want to link with your windows so and then obviously you can click reconnect if you don't want to do this again and uh, you will see a new drive appearing in your in your windows uh, my computer i think if you are choosing to set this up through Synology Assistant, you will see it. Uh, you, you download from Synology this app, uh, go into the app, so you will see a list of uh, all NAS is available. Click on the one you want to link with your Windows, type username and password. Um, once you do that, uh, you will choose again drive letter. Then you can choose from the drop down list which folder you want to link with your Windows. And when you have done that, you will see. Exactly again, this uh, thing appearing. So drive would be seen in uh, real life. This is how it's going to look if you go to my computer. Um, click on my computer, you'll see that um, there is a new drive added. So in this case, again, we can add anything you want into this folder. Uh, test three. If you go to Synology, did we save it? Or it's just like lucky if you go to Synology you'll be able to see this under the test folder test 3 we created so these are the two options that you link Windows to Synology so whatever you do in Windows goes uh, you, you can see that on Synology whatever you the Synology is going to be like a portal to your Windows or you link Synology to your Windows so you have a portal to your Synology from the Windows. I hope this uh, was helpful. If you got any questions, you can always uh, go to and ask compares and right inside there's a form, fill the form, send your question or send email to info and ask compares. And if the question will be interesting, we're going to shoot the video and uh, below the YouTube so we can help the world, help you, helping you and uh, helping others. Have a great day.